Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm Corsic Hickory, the drunken underwhelming, and ho, 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 it's almost the holiday. Welcome back to Hickory Reacts. I'm here to uh, check out part of where the channel kind of started, or started down a different path. I don't I don't know. Anyways, we're going to look at Five Times August. Sad little man, but live in London. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to Brad at Five Times August. He is a phenomenal musician, and uh, I'd love to have him back on the show, but I don't feel like I should be bugging him because he's very popular and doing a lot of really cool shit, like way cooler shit than hanging out on uh, TDAU Live. So, anyways, that's Wednesdays at 8. Check that out. Also, a quick plug for MC Molasses, Christmas Babies out now. The music video dropped this week. Go check that one out. I had a lot of fun editing it. Anyways, Five Times August, live in London. Sad little man. Let's get to it. You better run now while you know you can. Sad little man. Ah, oh, kind of gave me chills. He played this live on the Drunken Under Quarantine show, his first appearance, and it was like, it, it gave me goosebumps. It was phenomenal. Sad little man, you don't fool me. You sad little man. Oh, such good skill. I am pause heavy, by the way. I also don't do any research before I do my reactions. Like, turn by a raw reel and off the cuff. Although, I have heard the song several hundred times and live uh, probably a good dozen. But, absolutely adore Brad. I just want to say, I'm pause heavy. So, if that bothers you, I'm not the channel for you. Sad little man sitting deep in a lie. He's dead in his soul, but he'll keep you alive. Do what he says, not what he do, because the truth is for him and the lie is for you. Sad oh, it's still, it's such a poignant song still, which is sad because it would be nice to think that, like, you know, there was actual justice and and Fauci had, had, had served for the crimes he has committed, but... Mm. Not so much. A little man, but he's treated like a god. Has the faithless prey to a fake and a fraud. Worship the man, pledge to his word. One shot, two shot, now you get a third. And a fourth, and a fifth, and a seventh. <laughs> oh, man. It really lets you know that it came out early on in the COVID saga. Sad little man, sad This crowd is like super respectful too. Not not cheering much, like they're letting him have his space. Sad little man, gonna trap you like a dog, put your head in a net while they eat you raw. Don't ask Poor why, beagles. just comply. Cause fear is the drug that the doc prescribed. Yeah, yeah, that beagles beagles line hits. It's harder the more you learn about that shit. Sad little man, you can watch him on the news. Preaching to his choir while they learn the rules. Some feel safe and some feel healed. But they'll all hold his hand as he makes the kill. <laughs> yup. Sad little man. Sad, sad little, little man. man. You better run now while you know you can. Sad little man. Sad little man. You don't. Oh, he's so good. Sad little man, and he wants your kids. Some might live while the rest get sick. So put him to the test. Listen for the yell. When the truth comes out, he's going to burn in hell. Oh, vocal control right there is phenomenal. It's a little, just a little growl in his voice is like a, it's a chef's kiss. Sad little man, sad little Oh, 
Oh, Brad killing it as per Thank usual. Thank you so much. Dude, so good. And yeah, uh, I'll share at the end of the video the backstory on how Brad and I got linked up was that um, I had done a reaction to the original Sad Little Man video because one of you awesome subscribers said, Hickory, go check this out. You're going to love it. And I did. It was hysterical. And uh, it did pretty, the reaction did all pretty well. And the original song actually got like shadow banned hard by YouTube to the point where Brad searched sad little man five times August on YouTube and his video didn't pop at all, but my reaction did at which point he reached out and then I responded and he came on the show and, uh, I am absolutely a huge fan of this man and hope for the best for him. Would love to have him back on the show at some point, but I'm not reaching out right now, dude. Guy is doing way too important shit uh, with way too many important people for me to like be that guy that's in his email. Like, hey, you should come on this show that nobody watches because I like hanging out with you. Anyways, that's all I got. Go check out TDAU Live. And uh, if you go back to the Drunken Under Quarantine show, I think it was season two or three when Brad was on, you can check out a live performance of it on the live stream. Until then, uh, until next time, if you guys like the video, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Let me know what else I should be reacting to. You want to see a drunk magician who's way out of his depths, react to shit he has no business reacting to, down there in the comment sections where you should leave it. Uh, if you want to really support the channel, you could join. Uh, members have early access as soon as I upload videos. Uh, which is fun because you'll see a Friday video on a Sunday because I generally batch record because I'm a busy dude who works a lot and also has like two other gigs. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I get a lot done. Uh, go check out I've Seen Molasses. That music video is live now. If you really want to support, you could buy some merch, join the channel. I'd much prefer you just follow me at Gab or Rumble because that's where the lifeboats are and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, Drunk Magician out. Cheers.